I go much further than the, just the last recording. Um, Merlin Carruthers teaching Prison to Praise, his book, decades ago now. A short, brief book, you could read it easy in an evening. To completely turn your life around. Full of miracles. Um, American chap who, you know, well, you can get the book. But his thesis is quite simple, that it's an all-powerful God that loves us, so I can thank him not just for all the good. But when I'm up against it, up against what I see as evil, I can thank him for the bad, you see. I can thank him for the difficulties. He's all-powerful and he's all-loving. So rationally, he must be allowing whatever it is for a good reason. I'm going to thank him for it, because the problem, as I see it, is what's plaguing my mind. So I turn it against itself. Every time it pesters me and whines at me, I say, thank you, God, for this difficulty. For I know you. You are my blessing. You are the blessing of all, all creation, all. You love us and you're all powerful. I thank you therefore for this event that you have constructed and allowed And my trust is now that, and my trust wishes to be, that I trust you for it. That you are greater, you see, than all presenting difficulties. That you are greater than all creation. Obviously the creator is greater than his creation. To have brought it about. So my trust is in the reality of you that I can't grasp at present. And that's why it's trust and not knowledge. Now I know the scripture occurs to me is that this is life eternal to know thee. And I don't know you fully yet. And I find that trusting you in the great storms of life, the great needs, the great difficulties, trusting you then is miraculous. Miracles follow. Whether they be healings or transformations or, or just enlightenment. Love you, Heavenly Dad. So I thank Dad, Heavenly Dad, for the difficulties. Well, it's, don't look for difficulties. But when I come across them, I don't choose to despair or be bogged down or feel guilty that I'm not changing them and doing something wonderful in them. Thank God for the difficulty, that it's a blessing. And can I be part of this blessing? By, of course, relieving the difficulty in some way. Is it easily within my grasp? And I do mean easily. Can I, out of my surplus help, it's not to be some great burden on me, as if God is not um, perfectly able to put everything right without me. But it is opportunity for me to use my surplus of 
resources, whether they be finance or time or concern, to be part of God's blessing, because I'm learning with Him. You know, as I usually say, Mum's doing the washing up while I'm drying. Mum's doing the cooking while I'm, I'm clearing away bits and pieces all the time to make her job easier. I'm contributing relatively small things, of course, tiny. But I'm in a learning situation. Because we are to be like him. Wonderful, infinite creators. Because we are his children. And he wants us to grow into fantastic persons like himself that we may be lovely company and fellowship for him and each other, always. It's as simple as that. Love you, Dad. Thank you, Dad.